Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here, Bruce Simons and Staff. I'm so excited to show you this pop-up card. We are using the Sugar Peat Designs Nordic Village. This is a collaboration with Simon and Sugar Peat Designs, and it's absolutely beautiful. For this project, you're going to need the Simon Says Stamp Embossing Powder in Detail White, Distress Oxides in Peacock Feathers, Simon Says Stamps in Soft Navy, Embossing Ink, some jewels, white paint, white Novo, lots and lots of foam, and some pe some white cardstock. We are going to begin by scoring our cardstock. So this is going to be a square card, and we're going to begin by scoring three lines. So the whole card is actually 10 inches with a quarter. So we're going to score lines at the five inch mark, the five and three quarter mark, and the six and a half quarter mark. And we're going to fold those. So we're going to fold that top flap, which is going to search as the main background. And then we're going to do a little W and we're going to place some glue in the back side of that little V, the little W. So it holds it and you can decorate the back as well. We're going to begin by doing some ink blending of the peacock feathers. And this is going to be the sky. I wanted to create a very whimsical, pretty pastel village. And so the peacock feathers is just absolutely stunning color. We're going to have our darkest color at the top of the card and then it's going to do a gradient down. Don't worry too much about the color blending down to your fold because when you glue it down, you're never really going to see that bottom part where we're holding it. So just be careful to do a very nice solid ink blending. I am using one of my blender brushes. I'm going to come in with my water brush and I'm going to just brush that whole thing and flicker water on it so we get that beautiful distress oxide look that is just so popular. When that is dry, we're going to come in with our Altenew white paint and we're going to flicker from the back end and this is going to serve as some of the stars and just more texture for the card. If you do not have white paint, you can recreate it with some white watercolor, create a very thick pigmented liquid and flicker it with your brush. Give it some time to dry. And when that is dry, we're going to begin doing some embossing. We're going to grab one of the stars from the Nordic Village stamp set, and we're going to stamp that all over the place. Again, this is a night sky. However, it is a very pretty and whimsical one. So we're going to continue using that embossing and watermark ink from Simon, and then using the white embossing powder from Simon as well. We're going to cover all those little stars and we're going to come in with that Merry Christmas. And so this is going to sit directly on that ink blending. Uh, be sure that the whole ink blending water spl splatters, ink splatters are completely dry. So your powder does not stick to it. So again, we're going to cover this up with that white embossing powder. And then we're going to heat set. All right, as that cools off, I'm going to stamp a little strip from our home to yours. So the whole sentiment will say Merry Christmas from our home to yours. So again, we're going to do some heat embossing with that white embossing powder. And this pink cardstock is a basil or basil cardstock. It has some really pretty textures to it. Be sure to center it at the best of your abilities. And then you're going to do some heat embossing on it. So I removed that lower layer of cardstock because it was just kind of messing with my lineup. If you cannot stamp in a straight line like I can't, be sure to use your Misty. So for the purpose of the video, we are winging it and then we're going to cover it with that white embossing powder. And then we're going to come in with our heat gun and heat set. Once that's nice and done, we're going to place it with some foam adhesive strips on the back. And then we're going to remove that extra little piece of cardstock. I really do enjoy using longer pieces of cardstock because it makes it easier to place it on your card. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to use our Tombow runner and then we're going to add some adhesive to that back of that and glue those two together. And now you have this very nice flap and that is going to serve as the snow bank for our village. I have the little village, the Nordic village that I stamp in that intense black from Simon. And then I color with Copics and I will get you all the Copic colors that I use on this. It wasn't too many, just kind of stuck to one color scheme and went with it. So we're going to add some of that roller adhesive on the back of this. And so we're going to alternate. We're going to do 
roller adhesive on that snow bank, on that snow, on the white flap, which is the snow bank. And then we're going to use foam adhesive on the backside of the stuff that's getting stuck directly, getting sticked to directly on that ink blending that we did earlier. And that way you're going to get some dimension both from the little flap and then dimension from the foam adhesive. So there's not a real plan that I did to create this little village. I kind of decided I was just going to go along, add some glue, and then add the trees to really kind of fill in those empty spaces. And so we're just going to continue rolling in with our mono adhesive. So I didn't have the dies for this. I actually did the hand cut and I use the Tim Holtz, the little snippet scissors that came in the October kit. I know I'm totally talking about something different, but those are amazing. Those are really the best scissors I've ever worked with to fussy cut. And you can see how close I got to the edge. Um, one of the things I've seen people do is that they, they cut really close to the edge and then they use a black marker to do an outline of it. So it really pops. I didn't do that. I wanted to keep it nice and clean. But if you get the matching dies for this, you could totally create the same thing because it would look really pretty and just a really clean. So you might end up with a couple um, little extra things for the village. But as I, as I mentioned, I'm going to, when using that really little foam pieces, I found that it was easier to put the foam piece directly on the card and then come in and add the little cutout that we added earlier. So as you can see, as we're getting towards the end of all the little village pieces, we're gonna continue layering those off. And I really think that what makes this really a fun card is layering those two um, you know, front and back pieces of the village. And if you cut out more little trees and just place them a little lower, it would just fill it up much, much more. So as you can see, I have uh, some stars that I've cut out and we're going to be placing those as well. And look how fun that does that little nice little flap. And we're going to add those little embellishments. So for our embellishments, we are going to use one of the stars from the Nordic Village kit. And then for some sparkle, we're going to be using the Pretty Pink Posh. And these are white sparkles or white crystals and they're just an iridescent crystal super pretty really makes that card go to a whole different level and honestly you're not paying any more postage because you already have that uh, nice flap 3d card that you're making and with it having all those foam pieces it's really going to protect those crystals and then last but not least i'm using white nouveau for my snow. I know. So we're going to add it down to the bottom of the village and then we're going to get brave and add it up to the top where our little stars are. And then we're going to get really brave and add it to the trees and to some of the buildings and just let it sit. So be sure not to fold this over until it is completely dry. And that does it guys. This is Crystal Thompson for Simon Says Stamp using the Sugar Pea Designs. Stamp Timber Collaboration Nordic Village. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Be sure to tag us and stay tuned for more. Have an amazing day.